Hey, welcome back to another video for our C-sharp uh, program in Hero Maker. In this video, we're going to create a second form and show a list of heroes as we create them. So let's go and create a new form in our project. So let's go to Add and choose Item and select a form from Windows Forms. And we can just leave it as Form 2. So in Form 2, I want to put a list box. This is the main part of the form. It's going to hold a list of names of, all of our heroes. The second thing is I want a text box, and this text box is going to hold the details of the hero that was selected. So for instance, if I have a name listed here like Superman, I will click his name, and in this box, which will be larger, we will show all of his properties. Now I want to make this a multi-line form. There's two ways to do it. One is here. We can check it with a multi-line and then we can move the uh, form down so it's like really long. Or we could have also gone into the properties here and found a multi-line property and changed it to true. Now since we're creating the form, I'm going to add three more buttons and then we will program those later. But for right now, let's just get them on the screen. So there's button one and button two and button three. So this will be for sorting and then the third button will be for deleting. Okay, now here's where it gets tricky. I want this list box to show the contents of my hero list. So let's see how that works. We're going to have a problem and then we're going to solve the problem. So we need to set up the data source for our list box. So let's go into the properties down here where it says data source. And right now it's listed as none. So I'm going to select a uh, add a project data source. I'm looking for an object and let's click Next. I'm looking for Hero Maker, and let's see, I want to see what's inside of there. So I, I'm looking for the uh, list of heroes, the heroes list, and it doesn't seem to have it. So let's read the instructions, it says. It says, if an object is missing from a referenced assembly, cancel the wizard and rebuild the project that contains the object. Oh, okay, so we need to cancel here and rebuild. Well, we can do a simple start, click, and that will trigger a rebuild. So let's go into the hero list, and I'm going to change our status here to a static variable and a static property. So what that means is that this project will have exactly one hero list. You cannot have a hero list for form 1 and a different hero list for form 2. So let's save that. And let's run. We're going to have an error. Let's see what the error is. Okay, so we have a problem. And let's see, let's see what the uh, list says here. So back to where our hero list is being instantiated. So it says, make me a new hero list. Well, since changing it to static, it has a problem with that. And then it says, I cannot create an instance of the static class hero list. So by definition, if you create something that's static, you get one copy of it. You cannot create a new one like I have here. So let's just delete the part here. And you see I can't even put in a variable name here. It says you have one thing here. Okay, so let's delete the whole thing. Now let's go down to see where we actually use this My Heroes. So I can't use My Heroes anymore, but what can I do? I can put in here the word Hero List and then dot Hall of Fame. And then I can do dot add hero. So that is valid. There's no instances of hero list. There's just one static copy of it. So let's delete the second line. So we have changed our class into static status, and now it has uh, allowed me to have only one copy of it. So a little bit different syntax, and just uh, think of it as this is a good way to use uh, static for making global variables. So now Form 1 and Form 2 can both access the same copy of data. All right, back into Form 2 here. So now let's go and see if we can update this uh, setting. I'm going to rebuild the project again, so let's run the project once. Oh, we got another error. So after uh, updating this, we uh, should go down and fix the next line, 157. So My Heroes doesn't exist anymore, so let's change that to Hero List dot hall of fame dot count so this should still work and uh, give us the count of number of heroes let's do a rebuild on the project by clicking the start 
Okay, it seems to run. All right, let's go back into form two. So now I want to set the data source for this thing called listbox one. So let's do a right click on the, on the form and choose view code. So inside of uh, form, one, form two, we're going to set up some new uh, controls. So we're going to put in three lines of code to make our connection between the Hall of Fame and this list box. The first thing we need is an object called a binding source. So we'll just create a new generic binding source and I'll name it BS. So then the binding source has a property called data source. And this is where you can associate a data source with an object. So this will become the hero list dot Hall of Fame. Finally, in the third step, we're going to take the list box data source and assign it to BS. So we need to show this form. Let's go back into our form one uh, code. So to make form two show up, we have to create a, a reference to it in our code. So we'll use F2 as a file or as an object name. So F2 is a new copy of form two. And then we'll just simply call F2.show. And so after we create our hero, it will show form two. All right, so let's try this out. We'll run it. So I'll create a, a hero, give him some properties, and click Create Hero. It shows me the summary. The next box says you've created one hero. And the third item shows that we have a new item in the list. So it is a hero maker dot hero. It doesn't tell me exactly that it, his name is ABC, but it does show that there is at least somebody that exists there. So we need to change something with our class. What's missing is the uh, property called toString, or the display member. So let's go back into form two, and we're going to add one more property now, which is called our display member. So the display member is which part of the class do you want to use for the line? So I could use the word name, for example. So now when I try to create him, let's try Superman, and click Create Hero. We'll select the OK button and OK again. And this time, you can see that the hero on form two is Superman. Let's see if it'll allow me to create another one. So let's change this to X-Man. And let's click Create Hero. And it'll tell me now that I have two heroes. And we should see X-Man in the list after Superman. So it appears that this list is bound to the Hall of Fame. Not so bad. That's a good stopping point for this video. Now we're going to create a little bit more uh, functionality in form two.